Hi, it's early morning in my hotel. I do have the morning shift as always. There's not much to do. So let's do a quick repair. In front of me here, I have my PC loudspeakers and they do have a terrible hum. Let's, let's switch it on. They're not even connected to the computer. So let's hear how they sound. So you see they have this hum, right? This is a typical sound. This is the sound of the mains voltage. So why do these loudspeakers sound like this? We are going to fix them today because this, this is a very easy repair. So I said we are hearing the mains voltage. So when you have an electronic device which is powered from the AC, mains voltage, the electronics by itself is always powered by the DC. So something makes AC to DC and when you can hear the AC pushing into the DC then you know there is a problem with the DC power supply and we are going to look into this. Let's see what kind of power supply is inside here and we are going to fix it. But let me already take an educated guess. This will have something to do with the output capacitor of the power supply. So open, let's open it up and let's do a quick morning repair. So all of our goodies are in this one half of the speakers. There the AC cable is going in and then there's a connection cable to the other loudspeaker and that's all. Okay. Okay, this comes off. Yeah, as you see here we have a loudspeaker. We have something metallic here and we have a PCB. Uh, let's get this out. So the loudspeaker is connected here to the PCB. Okay, this can be taken off. And yeah, so we have only two parts left here. Let's open up another set of screws. Okay. And what is this? So we have, okay, the AC main cable coming in here and cables coming out. So this can only be a transformer. So what is written on this here? Yeah, so it's a transformer. We have mains voltage 230 volts and the output side is AC 8 volts. So classic uh, input transformer and PCB. Okay, the wires coming here to our PCB. Let's take a closer look to this. Yeah, and what we have here is an absolute classic. It's the circuit you learn first when you visit your electronics school. Extremely simple rectifying circuit. So the only thing what is having to do with power supply is this part here on the PCB. You see we have the low voltage AC coming in, four diodes, that's the bridge rectifier and an output capacitor. And everything else here, switch and this side, this is the amplifying circuit for the audio already and that's it. So, I told you something about the output capacitor because that's all we have here in this circuit. We have bridge rectifier as I said we're making DC out of AC but that DC would be wavy and we need a capacitor, a bigger one which is making then a, a nice DC and this is this guy here. It's a 1000 microfarad capacitor 16 volts and if we take a look on this I don't know if you can see it we have a bulge here on top, so this is an indication that this capacitor is already at its end of its life. 
and it's kind of understandable because these loudspeakers I already brought from Austria 10 years ago and I don't know how old they were then already so maybe these loudspeakers are somewhere at the 15 years mark so yes that's it I'm sure if we change this capacitor the hum is gone and the loudspeakers will be as new yeah, let's check the box with all the spare capacitors 1000 microfarads that's a standard value I have them in many different voltages here and yeah I mean we cannot put a much bigger one here but here I do have 1000 micro 25 volt so it's a little bit higher rated on the voltage which is okay and diameter is the same it's just a millimeter longer so this will fit here inside 1000 micro 25 volt this is our capacitor yeah what's better to do in your office in the morning than soldering some electronic components okay the old one is out just put the new one in okay leg one and leg number two and that was it already yeah as I said I'm very confident that this already fixed our problem let's put it back together and then we will see if we can hear still some humming it's quite annoying you know when I'm editing videos and you have this weird buzz was it let's plug it in and see what it's doing so, so and on and yeah so there is a minimal bus on it still but the other one the main one which is totally loud and annoying is gone as you see there are also easy fixes which are dealt within minutes and now my day can start so i hope you found this interesting thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe to the channel i see you next time